welcome to my channel. Have a very nice day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Listening to St. Vincent Lithium, Nirvana and St. Vincent. So here we go. We 2014. Have, uh, another artist is going to join us tonight. She's the singer in the band St. Vincent. She lives here in Brooklyn. Her name is Annie Clark. Annie. It's been a while since I've listened to her, too. Kind of excited to see her cover of this. Not bad. I really like it so far. Thank you, Jail Power Reviews, for requesting it. This is really good. I'm so lonely. That's okay. I shake my head. And I'm not sad. And just maybe I'm to blame for all I've heard. And I'm not sure. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet you there. I don't care. I'm so Dave on the drums and Curse playing bass. It's just, oh. I'm so happy because today I found my friends. They're in my head. I'm so ugly. That's okay because so are you. We broke our fears Sunday morning. It's every day for all I care. I'm not scared. Light my candles in the day. Let's go look at the lyrics. 
Okay, let's look at the lyrics behind the song Lithium by Nirvana. Let's look at some facts about it. I'm going at, uh, looking at songfacts.com like I usually do. And then I'll tell you what I think it means as well. Okay, it says, There is a lot of self-loathing going on in this song as Kurt Cobain sings I'm So Ugly and takes the voice of a man on the brink of killing of killing himself. Dysfunctional, random, and all of that. Cobain made it clear that most of the time he wasn't singing about himself in his songs, but was pulling from what he saw in other people. This depressive theme crept into some of the songs in their In Utero uh, album. I think I said it right. I've heard of the album, I just probably can't pronounce it right. Uh, okay, it says as well, which at one point was called, was going to be called I Hate Myself and I Want to Die. At live shows, Cobain would sometimes put this in perspective, asking the audience, hey everyone, why so glum? Okay, lithium is a drug used by doctors and psychologists to treat patients with manic depressive disorder, also known as bipolar depression. This is a very volatile mental condition, and lithium often helps regulate the mood of the patient. Mike Tyson is a famous lithium patient. Wow, I didn't know that. The CD single contained a sonogram photo of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's unborn child, Francis Bean Cobain. Kurt said that he thought he thought he saw Francis doing a heavy metal devil horn gesture when he watched the, the sonogram. The single also included all the lyrics to the song on the Nevermind album so people could finally figure out what Kurt was singing in Smells Like Teen Spirit. The album was produced by Butch Vig. He also produced the Smashing Pumpkins album. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think, personally, this song is um like what I thought it meant when I first listened to it years ago was when it says um all my um talking about his or all my friends or whatever in my head i was thinking of uh not bipolar but schizophrenia actually that's kind of what the song translated to me personally um and all the things he was mentioning he was like saying i'm so ugly but so are you so he's kind of going back and forth with um himself and um almost projecting um, his, like, or not his, but maybe other people's, as it says, pr projecting, like, the sense of depression and um, things in the song. But let me know in the comments what you think about the meaning of the song and also what you think about her performance, because I thought it was a pretty good performance. I really enjoyed it. But thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified for new and upcoming reaction videos. My Facebook is at Have a Very Nice Day. And as always, thank you all for watching. And keep on rocking. <laughs> 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 <laughs>